We have to be mindful of James Madison's warning that no nation could preserve its freedom in the midst of continual warfare. So it's time to end the war. It's time to say enough. It was a mistake. The war in Iraq was a mistake. Well, he's not going to say the war in Afghanistan was a mistake. I'll say that. All this war stuff was a mistake. A crime was committed against the United States, and Afghanistan offered to help us arrest and try the, perp pers the perpetrator. Prosecute the per perpetrator. That's the right phrase there. And George Bush said, no. Don't arrest Osama bin Laden. I'll come and get him. I'll drop bombs on your people. This is, a, this is a country, Afghanistan was a country that at the time that George Bush invaded it, had a, a gross domestic product. The average income was about $300 a year. And that's for the people who were working. And they had a gross domestic product of $2 billion. The entire country, all year, $2 billion. We were spending $2 billion every half day in Afghanistan. There was... There was one point where he was talking, where the president was talking about foreign aid. This is on page 8, Shane, of the transcript. But foreign assistance cannot be viewed as charity. Can you, can you dig that clip out or shall I just read that on the air? It's the very top of page 8. Got it? Okay. Here, let's, let's see if we can hear it. Listen to this. This is, this is remarkable. And we must help countries modernize economies, upgrade education, and encourage entrepreneurship. Because American leadership has always been elevated by our ability to connect with people's hopes and not simply their fears. And success on all these fronts requires sustained engagement, but it will also require resources. I know that foreign aid is one of the least popular expenditures that there is. That's true for Democrats and Republicans. I've seen the polling. Even though it amounts to less than 1% of the federal budget. In fact, a lot of folks think it's 25% if you ask people on the streets. Less than 1%, still wildly unpopular. But foreign assistance cannot be viewed as charity. It is fundamental to our national security. And it's fundamental to any sensible long-term strategy to battle extremism. Moreover, foreign assistance is a tiny fraction of what we spend fighting wars that our assistance might ultimately prevent. That our assistance might prevent. For what we spent in a month in Iraq at the height of the war, we could be training security forces in Libya, which Maintaining peace agreements between Israel and its neighbors, feeding the hungry in Yemen, building schools in Pakistan, and creating reservoirs of goodwill that marginalize extremists. There you go. I mean, for what we spent in a month in Iraq, in Bush's war, Bush's unnecessary, stupid, deadly war, for a month, for what we spent in a month in Iraq, we could be training security forces in Libya, maintaining peace agreements between Israel and its neighbors, feeding the hungry in Yemen, building schools in Pakistan, and creating reservoirs of goodwill that marginalize extremists. It's incredible.